feels great. I love IFLA. Uh, the last time I had a film here, it was during the pandemic. So I couldn't attend in person. So I'm really happy to be here. So I went to a school that was very strict in India. And basically like every other school I knew, uh, where as soon as I became like a teenage girl, there was like a lot of like surveillance and policing about like what we should be wearing, how we should be behaving, like don't wear a skirt that's too short or a top that's too tight or don't bend over like that or talk to boys like that. And so there was a lot of shame around bodies and sexuality. So I wanted to tell a story about a young woman's first romance, her sexual awakening, but without any of the shame. Sure, I was a head prefect like she is, you know. A rule follower put in this impossible position of policing your classmates, your friends, uh, and being like a young woman with like hormones. <laughs> so yeah, that part uh, of Mira is very much also like me. And actually also like the actress who plays Mira, who was also a head prefect. Oh God, uh, months, <laughs> months. Uh, I had I worked with an amazing casting director. His name is Dilip Shankar. He cast Monsoon Wedding, Angry Indian Goddesses. He's worked with like Wes Anderson. He's like a veteran. And we auditioned a lot of actors who had done work because India is such a big film industry. So there are many young actors who have credits. And we're not finding uh, the people that we wanted. And so we also did an open casting call. And Mira, uh, played by Preeti Panigrahi, came through one of those. Like so did Keshav Binoy Kiran, who plays her love interest, Sri. He was in engineering school, she was in college in uh, Delhi. And as soon as we saw their tapes, we were both like, oh, there's something special here. Yeah, so Mira's mom, Anila, is pretty young. Like, I would say she's like 38, 39 is how I wrote her, and she has a 16-year-old daughter. And she's like trying to give her daughter the freedoms that she didn't have. So when she finds out about her daughter's boyfriend, instead of being like, no, you cannot see him, she says, I want to meet him. You know, I don't hide things from me. Or she takes her shopping and is like, here, you should buy this mini skirt. you know. Uh, but at the same time, I think she feels kind of a sadness for the youth that she didn't get to have, like she didn't get to have these freedoms and so there's a longing and a sadness and it comes out in trying to be like really friendly with Mira's friends or Mira's boyfriend and obviously annoys the shit out of her. The film was shot uh, in Masuri and Dehradun, which is in Uttarakhand, so Himalayan foot, uh, foothills. And how was production? I mean, production uh, was really fun because actors are awesome. And production was terrible because production is always terrible. It's always like a controlled train wreck where you are like, every day you are like, oh my God, crisis, the, you know, we're losing light or that location is no longer available or this actor suddenly has to go somewhere. So that's always production. <laughs> Oh, great question. You know, the film has uh, a bunch of intimacy. Uh, and when we shot the intimate scenes, it was a closed set. And the only people left on set were like a group of like women. And I thought that was so fun. And I was like really happy to hear from Preeti, who plays Mira, that those were some of her favorite moments. And there is, well, there is a masturbation scene <laughs> involving a stuffed animal. And I would just say, there were a lot of tips in the room from the women. <laughs> and it was so sweet. What's next for me is, well, the film is going to release in theaters in September. So I'm excited about that, working towards that with our distributor. And then slowly beginning to write.